Welcome back and today marks the 77th birthday of Social Security yet the system still confuses many retirees. Absolutely. CBS MoneyWatch.com editor at large Jill Schlesinger come, comes back to work finally after <laughs> what seems like a, a long time off. But she's going to help us navigate this system. Welcome back. Thank you. Good to see you. So uh, what do you need to qualify? I mean, first of all, let me just say that people really don't get the Social Security system. So we know you are absolutely not alone. You need to have worked at least 10 years. But the age at which you can draw benefits, it varies based on when you were born. Basically, if you're born before 1938, your full retirement age is 65. But from 1938 to 1960, it rises incrementally, a couple of months at a time. If you were born after 1960, like everyone in this room except me, the age is 67, there is one caveat. If you've worked 10 years, you can also choose to claim benefits as early as age 62. Here's your caveat, though. Your benefit will be permanently lower for the rest of your life. For some, as much as 25% less money every single month, that could affect a non-working spouse. On the other hand, if you feel sturdy and you delay retirement until after your full retirement age, that's till age 70, delayed retirement benefits will give you 8% more every single year. So it's a pretty awesome deal if you wait long, you get more so you money. Get some decisions to make, 62, 67, right. 70. Yep. Gotcha. And, and it's tough to know because, you know, I, my big joke is if you tell me when you're going to die, I'll tell you when to claim Social Security. But, you know, I don't know. You don't know that. Okay. So it depends on your individual circumstances. Here's the general gist. If you delay Social Security, it will make financial sense, but only if you live long enough. So that's sort of the joke, but it's real. If you live beyond 78, it makes sense to forego Social Security between the ages of 62 and 66. If you live beyond 82 and a half, that's a nice full life, it makes sense to delay Social Security until your maximum age at 70. But if you're in poor health or maybe don't have a great record there with your family or you need the income, you probably need to claim at 62. For more about when to claim Social Security, I know this is confusing, guys. We walk you through it at moneywatch.com. But a lot of money on the table here, guys. So these are big decisions, and some of these decisions you can't undo. And you do a great job of breaking that down because it is, it is so confusing. Thank you so much, Jill. Yeah.